Sunday. Grand Rising and Bright Blessings to all of my paddle patrons. Happy Sunday. Happy May 19th, 2024. That makes today's numerological energy value and frequency, the universal one, a five. And we all know that the fives are about change, but today's is very interesting and very specific in accepting the changes, especially if you've been doing manifestations these past couple of days allowing the changes to occur, to sit back and really put into relax mode. Now I have the complex map up here, but I'm gonna get specific because we only had technically four transits. The first one didn't even start stationing until 8.38 a.m. on the East Coast, which will make it 11.38 um, a.m. on the West Coast. And we're gonna have a huge gap until we get to the, about the three o'clock through six o'clock hours. And then we're gonna wake up into the next transit. So we are experiencing what's what we call sort of like void energy. Um, so the void moon energy here technically is in uh, Libra, as you know. The main thing that's coming in today is this um, opposition that we have with the Mars and Aries. Go, 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 go. And then you have the moon in Libra, which wants to be slow and appreciative of all the things. It wants to have positive communications with people and wants to get creative with art and or some sort of beautifying planting, cleaning, whatever that means for you, art purposes. So those two are going to pose each other a little bit today. Other than that, what we do have is a gorgeous, gorgeous um, sextile between the sun and Taurus and actually the Neptune and Pisces. So one of the things that that does for us, especially if you haven't manifested, you have time to get that done if you feel like it, that Neptune and Pisces energy, opening up the energy of what's going on in our dreamville, our actual aspirations and things of that nature, um, tuning into our spirit team and literally allowing those things to perfectly ground into what we want, all of this huge heavy stellium energy going on in Taurus to provide for us. The other transit that's going to come in today is going to be a quincunx a little bit later and that's going to be with the Saturn and Pisces having a conversation with Libra. Sort of the same thing. Where are we being responsible and where are we finding duty and perseverance within what it is that we're trying to keep balanced? Again, just write it down. You don't have to get everything done today. Just be acknowledging it. And then again, the last transit that's going to come in is going to be at like 1138 p.m., which makes it one o'clock and some change a.m. We're going to wake up into the Chiron and Aries having a quincunx with that moon in Libra. Those are the only main four. Now I bring up the big map today just to get everyone's attention about all of the frequencies and all the different angles and changes that are taking place. The oppositions we've talked about are activation points for lots of different things depending upon your sign. The green trines, again, also by your sign are the perfect harmonies in those energies. The red squares that are in here, again, are you know, issues where there could be some contention, but the majority of everything that's going on in the heavens today is the purple sextiles. And I know you can't necessarily see all the little baby ones, but all of the, those trump everything else and they are opportunities for harmony. So take that how you will. <laughs> As always, may you receive everything it is that you need, everything it is that you want, and may you continue to find the beauty in all things. It's gonna be relatively a, just a smooth day. Enjoy it because tomorrow we got big changes with the sun going into Gemini and then also the moon moving into Scorpio. It's gonna change the dynamic for a lot of people very dramatically. So enjoy, many blessings friends, bye.